Hi everyone, here are a couple different options for editing the auto captions on someone else's YouTube video. Okay, so I'm at YouTube and I found a video that I want to use and I check the captions and they are auto generated. So I didn't make this video and so I cannot simply edit these captions in YouTube. So, um, some of you are familiar with uh, Canvas Studio and adding a YouTube video there. So let's try that. Um, I'm gonna click the share link on the video, then copy the URL. Then I'm going to head over to Canvas Studio and I'm in my studio library right now, which you get to by clicking the studio icon on the left menu in Canvas. Then I'm going to click add, which is in the upper right corner. And then I'm gonna paste in that YouTube URL and click add. And you'll see it added the video to my library. If I click on the video itself, there is a captions tab. And here, since this is a YouTube video, I cannot request that they generate the captions. That's not available. What they want is they want me to upload a caption file but I don't have a caption file for this video, so how do I get one? Well, there's two ways to get a caption file that I use. Um, sometimes I go over to Rev, which is a fee-based caption site. This is if I have no time to do this on my own and I want to pay someone else to do it. If I were to order through a service like this, I would give them the YouTube URL and they would go through the process of creating the caption file for me. You can see this video is three minutes and they are going to take a few hours to create it and it's going to cost me about four dollars. So that's one option. Um, another option let me show you is um, something called Downsub which is going to generate a caption file for me of the auto-generated captions. So I entered in the YouTube URL, you click download and here is the video and a caption file. So I can download this file to my computer. This is what it looks like when I open it up. Um, it just gives me those auto captions, which I can then edit on my own rather than paying someone else to do it. So I would literally go through this file and fix all the capital letters um, and add punctuation and fix any errors um, that I saw. And once I was done with that, I could save it, save all my edits. Then I could come back over to Studio and upload that file that I just created. And once I've done that, then captions are available in my Canvas Studio video. And I can obviously add this to any of my classes. Um, I can also create a public link that I can then grab a URL to add to my classes for this now captioned YouTube video. But what if you don't wanna use Studio? What if you don't have Canvas Studio at your college um, or you don't want it to be trapped inside of Canvas? You can also use a site called Amara, um, amara.org, and you can also caption YouTube videos here. And it's the same way, you're gonna add <laughs> the video again um, from YouTube and then you're going to either type in the captions yourself or upload a caption file. So I wanna show you an example. I um, wanted to fix this video here that you see, Algorithms of Oppression. And so I added it to Amara and then I created subtitles. And um, again, Amara lets you create the subtitles yourself or you can click the gear or the wrench icon and you can upload subtitles. So again, you're gonna need that caption file if you wanna use that option. So paying somebody to create a caption file for you or creating it yourself from the auto-generated captions. And um, Amara is really cool. The only thing about it is that you can't embed an Amara video in Canvas. It just the code doesn't work. So if you're in Canvas, you might see some examples of this. So here's that video in a Canvas page, and I just embedded it from YouTube. And then I added a link at the top that says, note, this video is auto-captioned. More accurate captions are available at the Amara version. And then I just link back over to that version that I created in Amara. All right, I hope that was helpful. And 
clearly it's a little bit complicated um, to do this process. So I would really only do it if um, it was a video you really, really wanted from YouTube um, and it was worth the effort to fix the captions. Okay, bye.